When I was a teenager, I used to think about how cool it would be to put hidden subliminal messages in TV shows and movies to get people to do what I wanted on a massive scale. Now, did that make me a budding evil genius? Yeah, probably, obviously. That's what evil geniuses think about. But I like to think instead that my intentions were always positive, and that this instead was just my inner psychologist coming out. But I've created a course that's available now online to show you the science of subliminal influence and show you whether or not these kinds of hidden messages that I dreamed about as a teenager could actually work and how they would work. I'm a social psychologist by training, and I spend most of my day doing research in persuasion and opinion formation, but I also teach psychology classes online. I've taught thousands of people across the world about social psychology and its implications for all sorts of things, and today I'm really excited to announce that I've created a course on subliminal persuasion. And if you've ever heard of subliminal messaging before, which, let's face it, you probably have, it's likely been a source of intrigue, an interesting possibility to consider the kinds of effects it can have on a massive scale. But at the same time, it can be really frightening, right? To think of all the information that's out there in the world that's not entering our conscious awareness, but changing our behavior at the same time. And at the same time, you might be thinking that this is probably bogus. You might think, does this really happen? Could subliminal information that I'm not even aware of actually have any real documented effect? And those are the kinds of questions we're going to answer in this course. What is it? Should you be afraid of it? And how big is its effect on average? Along with a few other details. This course is going to go into a bunch of detail on different levels of the subliminal influence question. The course starts out with a discussion of the unconscious mind what it is, what people think it is, and how we've been able to test it. Then we'll look at the history of subliminal advertising and the kinds of fears that's been associated with subliminal messaging ever since and the beliefs that have persisted till this day. And then for the bulk of the course, we're going to discuss the psychological science, the research studies that have tried to show definitively whether subliminal influence can actually happen. We'll look at lots of different cases of subliminal influence. For example, embedding spoken messages that are entered into popular music or self-help tapes that try to guide your own life choices through these subliminal messages. And we'll also look at visual subliminal messages, things that flash on a screen so quickly that you can't notice with your conscious mind. Does any of that really, when we submit it to solid scientific analysis, does it really hold water? Does it have a real effect? I'm not going to tell you now. You got to take the course to find out the answer to that. But hopefully this is enough to whet your appetite. So do join in on the course. I'm really excited. It's taken a lot of time to put this information together. And it's been a great chance to really do a big survey on the research literature on subliminal influence. So go to Curious.com. I'll put a link in the uh, description of the video below. It'll take you straight to the course and you can get learning all about subliminal influence and better understand this effect. I'll see you there.